Hello and welcome back to another province. Today we're in the beautiful province of Nam. We're slowly running out of northern provinces, which I'm starting to get sad about because as you can see, it's just it's so beautiful up here. You know, when I was in the south of Thailand, I was convinced that the south was the most beautiful part, but now I'm up in the north. These green blue mountains and the epic skies and just the golden Buddhas and just the food and the views and the roads. Don't get me started on the roads. They're just to die for. Northern Thailand, specifically Nan in this video, we're going to explore. This video will be based over the next two or three days because I just got here late afternoon from a long drive and I was blown away by the town of Nan. There was just so many different types of temples. I saw an incredible golden temple, a similar white temple to the one in Shang Rai. That was gorgeous as well. Lots of just really nice wooden local Lana style buildings and museums and just lots of other beautiful temples littered around the area and had some delicious food and you know I'm just gonna enjoy the sunset here at this 14th century old temple here 14th century can you believe that so before the United States of America was discovered there were people up here praying and um, just enjoying the views of Nan and so will you in this video so sit down and relax as we discover over the next few days and in this video one of my favorite provinces None. As I um, travel around Thailand, even though I go to the most unique and most different uh, of temples in each province, um, I am starting to find myself getting a little bit templed out. <laughs> so I'm finding ways to entertain myself because you know when you see a beautiful temple like this and you see a beautiful statue like the one you can see behind me, eventually, no matter how incredibly beautiful they are, eventually you start craving to go to a church or to a mosque or to um, a party and play pool. <laughs> what I do find entertaining is people watching and especially at a place like this, at a time like this, five o'clock in the afternoon, downtown Nan, there are tourists here and seeing their creativity when it comes to taking a picture is quite entertaining for me. More entertaining than say, just looking at the temple. And so as the sun is just creeping the last dip behind the mountains in the south, um, in the west I should say, uh, it's lighting up the temple beautifully just for the very last minute. And in fact, this one might be the optimal time to come here, five past five in the afternoon if you need any reference. Because look at it, the sun is hitting the, uh, the booty of the statue and people are being very creative with their taking pictures of their shadows, and um, getting the sun glistening off their faces and it's really nice to see actually it's more interesting to me to see people around the temple um, because if you don't know I'm traveling around every single province of Thailand we're nearly halfway and I don't know I just I'm, maybe it's just I'm tired from the drive today but yeah I'm just I'm at this temple and I'm like you know what I'm not really bothered about temples anymore <laughs> so what I might do actually is uh, enjoy the last of the half an hour sun up here because the views of the distant mountains which we'll go to tomorrow uh, is stunning and I want to enjoy it some more but then we'll go check out the night market down here um, I'll show you where I'm staying because it's really nice and then tomorrow we'll get on the road and head up into the blue mountains and that's where this province believe it or not really shines
ปั่นได้เดี๋ยวไปซื้อให้ไหนจับพวกโอเคเราเจอกันที่ร้านสะดวกซื้อและซื้อของให้And then they were like, "Oh, um, yeah, just go in." <laughs> so, you know, don't be scared to question people if they, if if it's blatant that they're just singling you out because you're a foreigner. Then you come in, and loads of food, and it's packed, and it feels really nice to be back in a busy market like this. And a beautiful evening, and there's a father and daughter singing, and it's adorable. But the most unique thing is everyone's just sat on the floor. And I don't know if this is a COVID thing, you know, like, does it keep people from mixing? I don't know. But everyone has their own little picnic basket and little wooden table, and they get their food from the market and they sit down as a family or on a date and enjoy the little girl singing. What a cute little night market! <laughs> But bring your vaccine passport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Maybe this is a new thing, especially at markets and busy places. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll just bring my vaccine information out with me in the future. I think it's fair enough. At the end of the day, you know, it's their market, their country. They can do what they want, and uh, I understand a little bit. So yeah, just potentially keep that in in mind in the future, especially if you're coming here in early 2022. Bring your information out with you when you're out and about. Anyway, I ended up getting uh, some sausage and some sticky rice. Not the most nutritious of dinners, but uh, there you go. And I enjoyed the atmosphere a little bit more. And then I had an early night. I was staying at this quite nice little boutique hotel, 1,300 baht. A little bit more expensive than I'm used to paying, but. It seemed nice, and I was tired from the journey. And it was the first place I found, to be honest. But then, like I said, it was time to head up into the mountains, where this temple of Nan really comes alive. Good morning, and we're back on the road. And this is our playground today. This incredible view in the incredible blue mountains of Nan. And I don't know how long this is going to take, but there's like a loop, okay? And it goes up and around, and it circles this giant mountain. And it can take you three hours if you just drive it, or it can take you two or three days if you really stop and enjoy it. So I really don't know how long we're going to take. Maybe a day or two. We'll just see. Depends on how many amazing stops there are, and uh, we've just stopped here for a mocha at this beautiful little cafe overlooking the beautiful mountains. And uh, they do food, and I am kind of hungry, but it's all in Thai. And uh, there's some questionable raw shrimps and raw squid stuff on the menu, and I don't want to order the wrong thing. And I'm not really in the mood for what I normally order. I was looking for something else. So we're going to get on the road. We're going to keep driving, enjoying this incredible road. And the next time we stop, hopefully, we'll get some delicious food. And there's so many interesting sights. This is where Nan really starts to open up and become just next level.
having the best time. Honestly, I think this is the best road in Thailand. This is incredible, come on. But look at the distance. Oh, it looks like weather. I think we're gonna get absolutely drenched. Dreamy, <laughs> look. We gotta go that way. Big, scary, dark clouds. Yeah, it's a lonely calling. as much as I can to share with you the turns, the twists, the views. But uh, it, I, do, do, I do not have the memory or the battery life to just share. I mean, it's every single turn for the past hour, for the next two hours, all the way up to Bo Klua, which is where we're going. And just, just, just breathe this in, ready? It's just, it's just amazing. So yeah, basically out of nowhere, <laughs> weather has rolled in and I've taken refuge in this beautiful roadside temple here. And uh, the rain's finished now. It wasn't too bad, it kind of came and went and it's heading in the wrong direction. It's heading in the direction that we want to go, which is there. But um, yeah, worst of the weather hopefully is gone. Hopefully that is blowing faster than Dreamy can drive towards it. But uh, just one more time, look at this place. Nan province, the road to Bo Klua. <laughs> Side cap. I'm having all this fun and I've forgotten that I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I'm not hungry because I'm just buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Okay, okay.
Okay, so we made it to uh, Bo Klua. Now this place is famous for this ancient salt well behind me here. Now I have to say that, you know, if you're lucky, uh, they'll be taking out the salt. There'll be a man, I've, I've seen it before when I came here last. And um, yeah, it's just not that interesting, guys. This whole village is based around this, this river and it's salt content which they extract and then there's lots of people here selling different salt products from raw salt up into body scrubs and shampoos and all kinds of things they even have like um nuts that are covered in this sacred special salt i got myself a body scrub a soap um so that i can smell fresh on the road but yeah this place is kind of underwhelming the road here is just so amazing and then you get to Boklua. And you're like, oh, it's a salt mine. Um, <laughs> so it's a bit of an anticlimax. Now, good and bad news. The good news is we've had a great day. One of the best rides of the trip. Maybe the best road of the whole trip so far. And uh, I'm on a high. And I've just messaged ahead to the place I stayed last year. So 10 minutes up the road is a village. And just take a look at this. It is beautiful this is footage from last year and I drove in and the valley was incredible and the river and I found a place to stay called Casa Yi Tip and it's like a package you get a lovely little room and they cook you dinner and last year it was actually Christmas and me and Sam splashed out and we stayed there and we had a big feast and it was delicious and it was incredible and we had lots of wine pizza and lots of food and I've just messaged them and they said they're fully booked which is my fault, I should have booked ahead, but I didn't think on a Monday, and it's not the school holidays or anything, I didn't think they'd be busy, but alas, they're fully booked. So, what I'm thinking is I might complete the loop in one day. I know at the beginning of the video, or earlier in the video, I said you can take two or three days, or one day, to do this loop. Now it's three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun and the light is perfect. And I'm gonna be selfish and I'm going to end the video here. Now don't get mad. Um, because the road back to Nan uh, is equally and epically as beautiful as the road to here. And I wanna enjoy it. Not like I haven't enjoyed it today, but you know, I have to pull over um, out of excitement to share with you, fly the drone, do time lapses and really take lots of photos for Instagram and things like that and as fun as that is it's taken me about seven hours from this morning to get here <laughs> and on Google Maps it says it would take an hour and a half so that just gives you an example of how long it takes me to pull over and stop and that was forgetting to have lunch as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive the two hours back to Nan and not have to stop and just I'm gonna be selfish and I'm gonna have that part of the road for me. Now, this is motivation, because come to Boklua, book ahead at Casa Yi Tip, have pizza, stay in the valley. Now, I've done it already, so I'm not really that worried about missing out, but it was beautiful and a really incredible experience. But I'm just gonna drive back to Nan, and me and Dreamy, we've got a whole afternoon ahead of us. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay clean, and um, see <laughs> See you in the next video.